Thank you very much for checking out the Men in Nutrition video series. We're going to release all the individual snippets in piecemeal fashion. Today we're going to feature Douglas Cowman. Let's show some love to the individual by liking, commenting, sharing, and connecting via social media with each individual. I'm also on the platform Buy Me A Coffee. This is a platform that allows creators like myself to create content and get rewarded in a variety of payments. I've decided to do it via coffee. So if you'd like to buy me a coffee, you can do so. And if you want to send one to the uh, individual I'm interviewing, send it to me and I will send it their way. With that being said, thank you very much for being here with us today. I hope you really enjoy the video and have a wonderful rest of your day. Hi, my name is Dr. Douglas Kalman. PhD, RD, a proud registered dietitian of almost 28, 29 years now. I got into nutrition and dietetics really or solely due to the curiosity of why is it that we develop diseases from foods that we either eat or do not eat, and yet at the same time, foods can be used as part of healing. So that kind of curiosity started my interest in nutrition. In my teenage years, I was fascinated by the relationship in between diet and colon cancer, as well as diet and heart disease. Uh, I was an athlete, still am an athlete. And uh, that started my interest in nutrition and dietetics. Currently, I'm the vice president of scientific affairs at Nutrisource. Nutrisource is a clinical research organization based in Guelph, Canada, right outside of Toronto. We're global. We have offices in Europe, Central America, USA, Asia, and elsewhere. I'm in the scientific division, so I mostly spend my time overseeing and integrating on clinical trials for foods, beverages, medical foods, infant foods, infant formulas, dietary supplements, pharmaceuticals, and development. In addition, I'm also a professor, an adjunct professor, teaching in the College of Osteopathic Medicine at Nova Southeastern University. I have appointments in the Department of Nutrition in the College of Medicine, an appointment in the College of Psychology, and an appointment in the College of Healthcare Sciences. Uh, currently, this summer, I'm teaching a, a medical pathophysiology class, and in the fall, I'm teaching a nutritional neurosciences class. I think it would be beneficial to have more men in the profession of nutrition and dietetics for a variety of reasons. And some, some of those reasons might even be unsettling. And what I mean by unsettling it, and in the past and in the current present, we know that there is unfair business uh, salary practices across many different professions where often men get paid higher than women. Um, fair or not, unfair. Uh, we should be paid equal. Um, perhaps having more men join the nutrition world may help raise overall salaries of what I feel is an underappreciated science and art. So there are many tips for men wanting to take better care of their health. But one of the things that I think is uh, foremost is that many fr men appear to be intimidated, afraid of, or not understand the, the value of paying attention to your mental and emotional health as part of your physical and overall well-being. And I would love to be able to see more nutrition be utilized as part of overall quality of life, even as related to mental health, uh, because it does play a role. I hope that this is uh, uh, of interest and helps spark a conversation. Again, my name is Doug Kalman, and I'm happy to interact with anybody that wants to have questions or discussions about careers in nutrition. Blessings to all.